Welcome to the tutorial on linking line and floating node. In this tutorial, we will learn to link two nodes with a linking line, write on the linking line, format linking line properties, change node shape, add cloud to a node, format the cloud properties, add a floating node, and add a table to a node. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS and Freeplane 1.7.10. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Freeplane interface. For prerequisite tutorials, Please visit this site. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and use them while practicing. We will make a map for students to study natural resources. Link for NCERT class 9 Science textbook on natural resources is shown here. First, let's open Freeplane. Press the Windows key on the keyboard. In the search form, type Freeplane. Double click on the Freeplane icon to open the program. The program may open with a previously loaded map. Press Ctrl O or click on File, Open, Saved Map. A dialog box opens. I have saved the input file in desktop directory. From the desktop, select the notes.mm map and click on Open. The map opens in Freeplane. Click on Navigate, Fold, Unfold All. Let's connect the two summary nodes with a linking line. For connecting two nodes with a linking line, first select both the nodes. First, select burning fossil fuels node. Press and hold the shift key. Then choose air pollution node. Now both nodes are selected. Then press Ctrl L to add the connector line. Menu alternate for this is edit, connect to add connection. Let's add text to the linking line to bring rigor to the map. Notice that the arrow is pointing to air pollution. This shows burning fossil fuels contribute to air pollution. Place the cursor on the connector line and right click. Connector dialog box opens with many options for formatting. In the middle label form, I will type contributing factors. Click on the connector arrows pulled out and notice we can retain or lose arrows. Change the connector line styles using connector shapes pulled down. Currently, I have a curved shape and I will keep it. Click on the OK button to close the dialog box. Place the cursor on the line and left click to see a palm sign. We can drag to move the line and resize to suit our needs. Let's change the node shape for clean energy. First, let's select it. Open the tool panel. Clean energy is different from fossil fuel energy. Scroll down the tool panel. Change node shape to bubble using tool panel, node shape pull down. When node shape is changed, descended nodes also change to the new shape. Select the descended nodes and change them to desired styles later. Next, I will add a cloud to the clean energy node. For this, 
Select the node and scroll down the tool panel. In the clouds option, click on the checkbox for change. Notice a cloud gets added to the node and its children. To change the cloud color, click on the rectangle next to cloud color. The cloud color dialog box opens. In the swatches tab, I will choose a sky blue color. Notice that the square below also shows the chosen color. Click on the OK button. Now the cloud has turned blue and stands out visually in the map. Let's rearrange the positions of children of the water node. I want to bring the sustenance node to the fifth sibling position. Click on the right arrow in the tool panel to hide it. So let's first select it. Click on edit, move and sort option. Click twice on move node, sibling down. This moves the node two places down. Nodes can be moved up, left or right using this pull down. Keyboard shortcut for this is to press control with arrow keys. In free play, we can also sort the child nodes. The sort children option seen here sorts child nodes alphabetically. Now let's add free or floating nodes. Floating nodes are useful to convey or connect multiple concepts in the map. Click on edit new node, new floating node. A free node without any connections is added. Select the free floating node. Move the mouse slightly to left till the oval drag option appears on the screen. Left click, drag and move the free node to the right of clean energy node. Let's add a table to the node. Right click on the node and select edit node core in dialog option. Edit node core in dialog opens. In the box, click on the table menu and select the table option. An insert table dialog box appears. This prompts the user to enter the number of columns needed in the table. In the how many columns form, Type 2 and click on the OK button. For node text, type ocean currents and hydroelectric power in the two columns. These are sources of clean energy. Once a table is added, we can add or delete rows and columns in the table. Place the cursor anywhere on the table and left click. Then, options to format the table are available in the drop-downs. Click on table, append row. A new row is added below the last row. Add two more clean energies in the new row. Type solar power and nuclear power in the new row. If you choose table, insert row, a row is inserted above. I will not add any more rows to the table now. Click on the OK button. Ideas in the floating node link with other nodes in the map. Since they are clean energy, they can be connected to clean energy node. So, let's link the floating node with clean energy. The arrow on the connector line points to clean energy. Clean energy also arises from water and can be regenerated. So, we can add a connector line with the water node too. Here, make the arrow point to the floating node. You may pause the video and explore more formatting options. Next, save the map by pressing Ctrl S. Click on File, Quit Free Play to quit Free Play.
Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we linked two nodes with a linking line, wrote text on the linking line, formatted the linking line properties, changed the node shape, added a cloud to a node, changed the cloud properties, added a floating node, and added a table to a node. For assignment activity, please do the following. Add a floating node in the map. Add a table to the node. Add types of water resources around us in the table. Link it to the water cycle node. And position the floating node in the map appropriately. Your assignment may look similar to this. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time to queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.